Welcome to table for 92. Element number one, hydrogen. It's not number one because it's the best element. It's number one because it has exactly one proton within its nucleus. For hydrogen, we're cooking up some lemon pepper chicken with Caesar salad and homemade dressing using my homegrown lemons with homemade croutons. Hydrogen. Hydro as in water and gen as in genesis. Coming from the Greek, meaning together, water giver. Hydrogen is a gas and the lightest of all elements, lighter than air. So it was used in blimps and zeppelins back in the early 1900s. But since hydrogen doesn't play well with fire, the famous Hindenburg disaster pretty much ended the use of hydrogen in rigid airships. But today, liquid hydrogen is used as a rocket fuel. The discovery of hydrogen is so incredibly important to the eventual formation of the periodic table of elements. Early scientists in the 15 and 1600s were still under the philosophical impressions dating back to ancient Greece that all matter was covered under the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. So even though hydrogen was discovered a few times in the 15 and 1600s, they just didn't have the scientific framework to identify hydrogen as an individual element. In the early 1500s, the physician and alchemist Paracelsus, who was actually considered to be one of the first scientists to use chemistry in medicine, observed that bubbles coming off of iron filings when reacting with sulfuric acid were flammable. That turned out to be hydrogen. Over 100 years later, in the 1600s, the Irishman Robert Boyle, who is considered to be the first modern chemist, also discovered hydrogen, but neither of them followed up on those discoveries. But it wasn't until 1766 that the famed English chemist Henry Cavendish collected hydrogen bubbles and showed that when those hydrogen bubbles were burned, it formed into water, hence the name Water Giver. I believe Matt Damon also used this process to create water when he got trapped on Mars that one time. But by Cavendish showing that you can create water through chemical processes, finally the scientific community was able to break with the 2,000 year old philosophy that water itself was an element. It's not, it's H2O. So this all really ushered in a new age in chemistry. So to make this marinade, you add juice of one lemon, two tablespoons of olive oil, plenty of fresh ground pepper, garlic salt, onion powder, cumin, paprika, and one cup of chicken stock. Add in six chicken thighs and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the lower the pH in foods. pH is the scale explaining acidity. The scale goes from zero to 14 with seven being neutral. That's like pure water. The pH of lemon juice is very low because it has a high concentration of hydrogen ion H+. It's not hydrogen the element, but hydrogen the ion, which is lost its only electron. So yeah, lemon juice, it's really acidic, about 2.2 on the pH scale. That's equivalent with vinegar. The famous Caesar salad was actually invented by an Italian immigrant to Mexico, Caesar Cardini. Caesar salad is not named after Julius Caesar or Caesars in Vegas. Cardini created this in his restaurant in Tijuana, Mexico, and the original recipe did not actually have anchovies in it, but they did use Worcestershire sauce, and that is created from fermented anchovies. They just thought that anchovies would be too strong of a flavor, and pretty soon Caesar salad became one of the most common salads you can find in restaurants all over. Little bit about lemons. Lemons are thought to have been domesticated in what's now Northeast India, but we really don't know. There is, however, writings referencing citrus in Sanskrit at 800 BCE and in Chinese at around 600 BCE. And there is plenty of evidence of lemons growing during ancient Roman times. The famous Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder, who actually died at the volcanic eruption in Pompeii in 79 CE, wrote that citrus was grown more for medicine than for food in Roman times, mentioning that lemons are a good antidote for poisons because po people got poisoned all the time back then. And actually there is a famous fresco preserved in Pompeii in the house of the fruit orchard that depicts citrus farming. Lemons, of course, need to be grown in warm places. But even in places like Jersey, where I live, it gets too cold to support my old lemon tree during the winter time. So I have to take them in for about four or five months out of every year.
It's really hard to conceptualize what the discovery of hydrogen did for the advancement of science. It helped to break down a 2,000 year dogma that all scientists had been working under. It truly was a turning point. Thank you and see you next time.